What up, people? Good day. This is Gerald. Um, I hope today is Wednesday, the 14th, 2012. It is a overcast day. Um, it's a great day for a reflection. Uh, I, I took this week has been like very very interesting had a lot of great uh, conversations with a lot of my friends and uh, and I felt moved to put a video out you know I've been trying to put them out uh, I made a promise to myself that I was going to chronicle my spiritual growth for 2002 and you know with God's glory each day is a new discovery you know I've come to learn that whatever that you hold dear uh, whatever will be your whatever you're reaching for unless you speak it you cannot it's the roadmap to your destiny so while I was out a couple weeks ago uh, I'm always looking for a deal, or, you know, it's all about, you know, I'm a philosopher of, you know, if you have a mindset of, if you think like you're, like you're broke, you'll save money, and it's very true, um, because you'll be surprised what manifests in front of you, and, you know, those are like little gold stars of saying, hey, you're on path, you're on path, so while I was out, um, I, I found this cup. I'm going to put it here so you can read it. And I'm going to read it. It says, friend. A friend is a great therapist, always lends a helping hand, a person who knows all about you and likes you anyways. The chocolate chip of the cookie of life. When I saw that, I was like, man. I, it was meant for me to uh, to pick this up and... I got two of them and I sent one and I kept the other you know and but what really got me was the fact that it says great therapist I decided uh, a couple months ago um, I met the process of I don't want to say I was in a, a crossroads per se but you know you, it comes a, a time where you ask yourself what is my purpose why am I why am I here what is the task I must do and I realized that through par uh, really through prayer and understanding that my calling was to be a therapist uh, I love people uh, I've, you know I always tell everybody I have a big I have big arms but I've, my heart is bigger and I believe that uh, well, God has shown me through interaction through others uh, to be there when He wants me to. You know, kind of like think of life like a, a giant clock. If you were to open that clock up, it has all these types of screws and uh, grommets that all interchange and connect to each other in some form so the hands can flow. And we are we represent each one of them we all have a piece and that action is the choice of how the effects of our lives play out choice so what made me what so it just made me think I said you know I want to put this video out because I felt that someone may have wanted to they may be going through something right now uh, they're they're really stuck in a place where they don't know if they should go back go or go forward and um, really I just believe God is telling me to do this and, and I obey him so what I'm trying to say is this 2012 is the year that you look at your life and you reflect this is the time of year where this is the time in your life where you know kinda like a mosaic puzzle you take all the events that had significance and you're laying them out 
and then as you line them out they fit in certain areas now there's some pieces that are not there because they have not been manifested they have not been revealed you haven't gotten there yet but in due time you'll get there which brings me back to my main point you define your self-worth and value no one else can do that only you um, I had I had mentioned a couple months ago well it's been about two three months now I had a pleasure of picking up uh, Tyrese's new album big up mr. Gibson uh, open invitation he has a song on there it's track 14 it's called walk and it's done in spoken word however if you listen to what he's trying to convey it cannot be any clearer than that um, it, it should give you some enlightenment and some validity now a lot of times people they get to a point where they're saying well hey I'm, I'm trying to live a good life I'm trying to reach for all the goals and aspirations and I just keep having these setbacks or all these things are coming up and, I, and, and I'm getting to the point where I'm about to give up. Do not give up. Don't. See, anything worth of value is worth the struggle. For example, a farmer cannot go to the market unless he went out before and planted that first seed. Now, in his mind, he may have said, well, you know, I know it's going to be a good year. I know that uh, I should expect this and, and I'll yield my result. However, if you don't take the time and the effort, you know, he, he's, he's sitting there and he's not going to be like, well, uh, he can't predict the, oh, that flood that may, he, you know, that mess up his crops is going to mess his money up. He don't know that. He has to more or less go on faith. And that's your foundation. That truly is. Whatever your your higher power is, my power is my higher power is the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm gonna tell you, until I was able to step away, was look, I, I told someone before, you know what the greatest setback that we as human beings uh, face, or better yet, you know the greatest tool that the devil uses against us it's pride yeah it's pride because think about it there's there's been many times that where you knew that you really needed help you knew you needed help you, you were at, you had a task that you could not accomplish but because of your position at that time you didn't do anything about it so guess what? That all they did was open up more adversity, which equals distractions, delays, upheavals. Well, see, that's what the devil wants. That's what he wants. He wants to keep you as distracted as he possibly can because then you are not a threat. You're one less you're one less person that he has calculated that will not impact his his whole goal in life and that is sorrow so what happens is you have to turn around and tap in to your 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 faith that that will get you through i mean it's no disrespect for those who don't understand but god makes a way where there is no way bottom line see we we as human beings can't comprehend that we want we want to do things our way and say well you know uh, we'll just say we'll use a woman and, uh, and she sees something she wants and she goes after it but then she gets the result that she did not expect it's because you is it was because of how you went about it see I'm a firm believer. 
if you don't put God first in everything that you do, you're gonna get you're gonna get the outcome that you did not want. Because on the flip side, the devil's gonna bring everything that you desire into your life. So if you're looking for a man and has certain qualities, now there's nothing wrong with having a desire. But if that desire is not harnessed correctly, you cannot expect the outcome to come out the way. It never does. Because it's not. Its means is to distract you from your path. And really, you know, God represents love. Unconditional love. Pure love. Agape love. The devil doesn't like love. So what do you do? He will bring someone that fits the qualifications that you physically wish for and that will be your distraction and then in turn that will be your despair so if you really want first of all you have, you have to check yourself check yourself whatever your desire is, this is if, if it means to uh, you want more blessings and favor in your job if you want more stability and and to be grounded in your emotional state give it to God give it to him that's where he's there however he will not step in he won't step in unless he's invited and, and more importantly he, he's a jealous he's a jealous God so with that being said he will you know he's, you can't play with him because he already knows what you're gonna do until you until you're able to come correct truly humble yourself and he sees that this is what you want then it's pure oh you're gonna to have to work for it because that yields value now now let's look at your friends your circle if you have people in your life that truly do not support you and your endeavors why are you dealing with them? You gotta love yourself. You gotta love yourself more. You you do. Because look, just say if you want to decide to go left field on an idea, your real friends that love you, they're gonna say, "Hey, look, this is a good idea. This isn't a good idea," and they're gonna tell you things that you really don't want to hear. But if they love you, they're gonna tell you anyway. Because that's what. You know, that's what friendship, true friendship is. You know, they only want the best for you. So, getting back to my whole value, the whole moral of what I'm trying to convey is, you define your self-value. You define your self-worth. You define your harvest. And the people that are going to be in your life are going to support you, guide you, and love you. The ones that come into your life only for the harvest and are not the ones that are sowing the seeds, I hate to tell you, they're your distractions. Give whatever that you desire to God. Give it to Him. And when the, door, and when the proper time is, when that time comes, you'll see it. I hope that helps someone. If you have any questions or concerns, I can be reached at cdmixers at yahoo.com. That's c-d-m-i-x-e-r-s at yahoo.com. I can be reached at Facebook at Gerald Davis at facebook.com. Just click on for a location on Virginia Beach. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can hit me up on the YouTube uh, comment. Um, and hey, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Um, I hope your day is going positive. Um, and if it's not, just take a second. Reach out to them. Whatever that may be bothering you, reach out to them. And I guarantee you, you will get the clarity and the answers that you seek. Be blessed, y'all. Thanks for watching my video.